guys, it's me Stace. I am back today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It Now Monday project, and today we are making a super cute deer pop-up card. Here's the card there. I did change it up a little bit. I added a little red nose to make my reindeer into Rudolph. I changed out their greeting, added my own as well. I also added a snowflake to kind of mimic the snowflakes that were in the pattern. And I also made my own pattern paper, again, with them same snowflakes using the Cricut marker tool. And then we have a really cute coordinating envelope as well. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Ready at the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. And you will see here on the main page, there is the card we want to make. If for some reason the card is not showing up here, Go to the right and click on where it says All Categories and go down and click on Cards Christmas and you will see the card here. It is called Happy Holidays Dear Card. Go ahead and click on that. It will bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. Uh, we have three pieces. We have the main card front, the piece that goes behind the card, and also the envelope. If you click on the card front and go to the right hand side toolbar and click on Edit, you will see the size of this piece is rather small. It is only four inches wide by five and three quarter in height. I do want to make it be an A2 size card. So I'm going to take my card front, lining it up with the piece behind that one. Take my envelope and bring that behind the card. If it's not going behind it, just simply right click on it, choose move to back. Bring my envelope over behind my card. Take your left mouse button across everything, right click on it and choose group. They are now all grouped together so we can resize them all together. Go back to the edit panel having your piece selected. Leave the lock connected and change only the height and make it be 8.5 and then click on enter. Now it is resized. Go to right click on it again, choose ungroup. I'm going to set my envelope aside and also the piece that goes behind the card. Now I have just the card front, the part that's going to pop up. And as I mentioned, I did do a little bit of customizing. So I'm going to right click on the card choose detach, click on the text, click on the X to remove that. Now because we chose detach, we are also detaching the square marks, so make sure you don't move the card piece around. Left hand side toolbar, click on where it says add text, and you can type in whatever you like. I'm going to do oh dear, Christmas is here. thought that was kind of fun. All right, have your text selected, right hand side toolbar under edit, where it says all fonts, click on that and make it be has a writing style so we can use the marker tool. I also want to change my text. I want to click on where it says Cricut Alphabet and the font I chose is way at the bottom called Wednesday. All right, so my font is changed. I do want to align it, make it be centered, left or the right hand side toolbar under edit. You will see the three align tools, click on the middle one and then place your text on the card where you like it. I also want to add a snowflake. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. In the search box, type in the word snowflake. Then click on the funnel and change that from under ownership. Make it have Cricut access. And there's a snowflake there. If I click on that, it is from the Don Juan cartridge. Click on the snowflake, bottom right, click on insert images. I know you see the snowflake here, but it also has a box around it. I don't want the box. Right click on that piece, choose hide contour, click on the box, then click on the screen. Now we have just a snowflake. Click on the snowflake, go to the right hand side toolbar under layers, find the snowflake, and you will see where it is. It'll be highlighted over here. Click on the snowflake and change that from cut to right. So now we're also able to use the marker tool again. Have the snowflake selected. I'm going to right click on it and choose copy. Right click again and choose paste. So I can set one of the snowflakes aside. Bring this one over and then just size it on the card front where you want it. All right, when you're happy with everything the way it looks, take your left mouse button across the entire card and the text. Right click on it and choose attach. That's going to put the square marks back on there and also the text is on our card. Now I want to work on the envelope. I'm going to bring the envelope over. Take my blue piece, set that aside, and also my card front. I'm going to bring my snowflakes over, resize them, 
I'm going to put five snowflakes on the flap of the envelope and one here on the front of it. I'm going to resize them a little bit. All right, so I have my one snowflake selected. Go to the right-hand side toolbar under Layers, bottom right of that panel, click on Duplicate, and I'm going to do this six times. Okay, so I can take my snowflakes, line them up on my flap. So one over there. I'm going to set this snowflake aside. Just get everything placed where you want it to go on your envelope. Okay, when you're happy with the way the envelope looks, take your left mouse button, go across the entire piece, right click on that one and choose attach. So now our snowflakes and our score marks are attached to the envelope. Now if you want to create the pattern paper like I did here for the front, what I did is to went to my left hand side full bar, click on insert shape, click on a square. I'm going to bring the square up in the upper left hand corner of this card. Unlock the lock then resize it to fit inside this entire top half of that card piece. Now my square, if I go to my edit panel, is 5.69 in width and 3.99 in height. I can move that piece out of the way. I'm going to go to my layer panel, click on my square here. I can see it here. Click on that and make it be a white color. Bring my snowflake over. Right click on it if you need to. Choose move to front. Now you're just basically going to fill this paper up with snowflakes. So have the snowflake selected under the layer tab. Go to the bottom right and click on duplicate. And I just did this a bunch of times until I was happy with the amount of snowflakes I had. All right, now just go ahead and rearrange the snowflakes. If you have a snowflake stamp, you can also do this. You can just you know stamp a piece of white paper with snowflakes on it. I think I need a few more. I'm going to go back down and click on Duplicate under my Layers tab. I kind of like the way that looks. What I'm going to do now is click on each snowflake and kind of rotate them a little bit so they don't look like they're in a pattern or all go in the same direction. You can see here I do have some of the snowflakes going off the paper and you do want to have that. That's way it makes the paper look more authentic. When you're happy with everything the way it looks, take your left mouse button across all the pieces, right click on it and choose attach. Now our snowflakes are attached to that piece there. All right, top toolbar, click on where it says go. So we have one mat here, that's for the backing of our pop-up card. We have our pop-up card there, and we can see here under the category, we have our scissors, score mark, and marker tool, so everything is attached. The same with the envelope, and also this piece here. Now this piece, you do want to use a larger piece of white. This way the marker will draw on the, on the on your cardstock and not the mat. All right, bottom right, click on Go. I'm going to cut all these out. We'll go to the table and put our card together. Alrighty, guys, we are back. All of our pieces are cut out. I first want to show you this. Um, if you don't resize the card, it'll actually be this small. So it is pretty small. All right, so we have these pieces here. We're first going to go ahead and work on our envelope. Finger press on the square marks to kind of get them started. One more flap to go, and then we'll go ahead and take our bone folder. That a better crease. All right. As I mentioned, if you don't, um, if you have a snowflake stamp or any kind of stamp that you want to make your own um, customized envelope, you can do that as well. I just thought I'll just have the Cricut do it for us. All right, going to take some glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue from MamieMadeIt.com. Put it on the edges there. I'm going to bring our flaps up. I'm going to flip it over. Just kind of give it a rub, let that glue set up. All right, so now we have a really cute envelope that matches our card. All right, now we have the card. 
itself. And you will see all the score marks. I'm going to first go ahead and again finger press on the score marks first to get them started. Pinching them as I go. Hold that down. Increase that one. So we have that one done. Another one up here. Again, finger press just to get it going. Then pinch it. And you take your bone folder and score it. All right, and then we have another one up here. All right, and then we have two little ones, or one little one on each side. That's gonna be the center of the card. I'm gonna pinch that one, and pinch this one as well. All right, so now you want this, the reindeer part coming out the other way. I'm just gonna flip it over until you see the box kinda of coming together. Take this piece, fold it in half, and then score it. All right, let's bring our card over. There's only a few score marks. All right, so we're going to bring this guy in there, place it in, and you'll see there how it pops up. Super cute, right? All right, I first want to kind of fix my snowflake. I kind of bent that a little bit. I'm going to lay this down the way it's supposed to be. Bring it in my card, then fold my card in half. Bring up the one layer. All right, so now you can see here where we're going to glue it. We're going to glue it on this strip going down, and that is it. I'm actually going to light it flat. It's easier this way. All right, so where we have a little square mark right there, you want to go above that square mark, put glue along all the edges, bring it down to that square mark. And only glue at the top above the square mark again. I'm going to take this, bring it up in my card here, lining it up at the top. I'm going to kind of work my way down the sides and just go in there and kind of rework that reindeer so it pops out the right way. Okay, so there's that part of the card. Now we're going to flip it over. We just grab this piece here, and you're going to put glue along all these pieces, or this whole section here. And you want to kind of get close to the edge there. All right, I'm going to take this one and line it up with the bottom of the card. Move all that glue out of my way. And then just take it and just press all that glue down. Okay, now we have our card. Super cute, right? I'm going to get rid of that glue on the side. Again, you want to fold it to kind of shape the card back. You can take your bone folder, this side of it. Okay. So now we have a really cute pop-up card. All right, now here's the front of my card. So I'm going to lay this part down and put this on the front of that. You know, sometimes it's hard with pop-up cards, even though they're super cute. A lot of times, you know, we won't have paper that matches the card. Like, I don't have any paper that has a deer on it or a winter scene. Um, so it's nice that the Cricut, you know, using the marker tool, you can kind of customize your card and make your own pattern paper, in a sense. All right. I'm going to plop this guy on the front. You can put, like, I'm giving this card to my grandson. I think I'll get a kick out of the, um, the deer pop-up card. You can, you know, also go in here and write 2D, you know, 2JC or whoever you're giving the card to. I make sure that's down there really good. I'm going to flip it over and just give everything a good rub. All right, so now we have our personalized card that we made our own by adding our own paper and also our own greeting on the inside. We're going to go ahead and take it in our envelope. And I always put the folded edge down. If I have dimensions on the front of the card, I place that going this way, but I'm just going to plop that in there like that. Fold that over. So when they open the card, they'll see the snowflakes there. When they get the card, they'll see the snowflake here. Open it up, they'll see that snowflake, and also on the inside, 
the snowflakes here and also on the scene. All right, guys, there you have it. Today's Making Up Monday project. Um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.